you were unable to tell us. Do well, that in good faith. But, and can you just confirm to us that the number one priority of your government it is really valued by households and businesses. And we I think learned... anyone listening tonight who drives a car does know that. Underspense for this means that our plan is absolutely intact, and that is rightly what we seek to use for the credibility Sorry, is this some of our sort of fiscal joke? plan. In a way that it's, it is in the well, Why isn't it appropriate? And those have not changed. We're looking but to use the underspense, we... however. Which government departments have underspent? I've been involved in this for some time, and but... the plan overall has not changed. OK, so when were you told then? ...of that uh, mm. uh, in due course and... Told what the change of policy was? We want to spend it for the good of households um, and businesses. We learned today that, uh, that what you're looking for now is 500... The plan you... overall remains those so departmental it's... budgets as they were laid sure. out. Do you ever wake up in the morning... For reasons yeah. which are uh, interesting yeah, okay. in themselves. I'm just wondering why you didn't... Also the... What am I going to be told today? The fact is here, we are sticking to the overall plan and taking the opportunities we have to help households and businesses. You think, my God, what odd million pounds? It's real money in real people's pockets. Oh, we all understand that. Good. We know... You ever think you're incompetent? And everybody does know that. I, I wake up in the morning and know, actually, that some of my constituents will really value not having... Mm. For households and businesses, you have to do what you can. It's very important to help households. And businesses. Hey. Was it before As lunch or after lunch? As a minister lunch? in the Treasury, I've been involved in the discussions for some time. I'm not going to give you a commentary on who says what and when. That's no, about how government I just want to know. is. This has been under discussion for some weeks. Right. Uh, and at some point during those several weeks... Indeed. And yes. today, in front of right. Parliament, we, we, we uh, revealed to uh, Parliament, as is right and proper, by right. the way, to Parliament, so, that we were planning to help households and businesses in this way. Is it hard for you to defend a policy you don't agree with? In the oh. world that we're facing, where things are very hard, some time, when and was I think the it is very taken? important to well, you help didn't households in May. and businesses. You didn't in May. Go on. Sure. Yes, of course. So, because you said it is not certain that cutting fuel duty would have a positive effect on families or businesses, so that they can get the help they need at these but, hard times. But, but you said it's so. What's happened? I think the point to be made out of that and out of what's then been said today is that it's important to do what you think you can to help households and yeah. businesses. I don't think many things are certain in this world. I, as I say, it's been under consideration for some time. It's very important that the government uh, acts on concerns it hears. See, businesses uh, could even save the money they kept from, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, right. less on fuel duty. There are lots of different ways that could well, pan out for families and businesses. Why did this? And as I, as I said about who, about who, what and when, it's very important to help. Of course it is. It's a matter of legitimate interest to households and businesses. OK, it's going to cost, you say, now uh, about you know, 550 The government will make its policy uh, and... Pounds. Uh, in contrast with your figure on the 23rd of May, which was... From which departments that gap is going to be made up? No, they actually refer to two slightly different things. Well, as we've said today, we made up from, it will be, it will be drawn from. And it's important that the government... <coughs> cancellation. Uh, and, of course, as you will be aware from today, we have been talking of deferring. No, the it, around 500 million is the correct figure because we're talking about a defer. The, uh, the figure will be uh, drawn from underspend. The public sector data released only today. Uh, yes. Those, Where? Uh, uh, if you, there are a number of those available. We know, we know that um, underspends are... Well, we know that the... Can you the, tell us... No, I won't do that because we'll be you giving you the full details in... Also, that because... Which department is it going to come from? No, because... You know, do you? They are available. It, uh, the are you statement. waiting to be told that as well? We know... Name me a few year. departments. Last year, there were four billion of them. You those, know which departments have underspent? They fall across and in different ways. Those figures oh. are there today. Where? The figure is evolving somewhat. So when were you told? We had a uh, collective discussion as per the data uh, today. The, 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 the data what? is available uh, monthly and that figure will uh, progress. If it is not possible to give you uh, a full breakdown at this point. I can't sit here you and tell remember. you... can't remember? I can't... You know, we, we are clear. ...the ins and the outs. No, I'm, it's not appropriate you can, for me you, to tell you... But you're here, you're coming here to... ...give you the sort of full... Well, board. you can't even tell me when you were... T I can't, I can't... Did, the did it happen the today? Processes. Presumably you do know, but are choosing not to tell us. Is that correct? It's an aggregate figure. If right. you look at the data today, but it's I, an aggregate figure. Fine, you're choosing not to tell us. It's an aggregate figure, and I think that's what's important here. The figure says there is enough. It's very important.